My name is Devin. I'm the co-director and founder of Nature's Educators. We are a 501c3 nonprofit organization licensed by the USDA, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, and Colorado Parks and Wildlife to keep uh, certain species of animals for education. And our guest here today is Caliban. He is a two-year-old captive-bred barn owl, and barn owls live all throughout the world. This guy, the common barn owl we have here in North America, we do see them here in Colorado. And they are a nocturnal species, and you might notice him moving his chin quite a bit. That's called gular fluttering. He's panting and he's a little nervous. This is his second time being in front of a camera. So he's probably wondering what's going on here. And it's in the middle of the day. So um, this is the middle of the night for him. It's a little bit different as a nocturnal species. Owls are very, very uh, important in our ecosystem. These guys are eating mice, rats, and other small animals, helping to keep our ecosystem in balance, both in the prairie, the mountains, the forest, and even in the city. We can see barn owls living right in the middle of the city. Now, when these guys are hunting, they have a really unique hunting adaptation on their wings. And I don't know um, how well we can see, but the feathers on a lot of our owls, including our barn owl here, look almost jagged. And this jagged edge, those are called flutings or plumules. They help to break up the sound of the air moving over his feathers. So if he does flap his wings, they're very, very, very quiet. Where if we were to hear an eagle, a hawk, or a falcon, the feathers are stiff, so they're gonna make a lot more noise while they're moving. But these guys need to be quiet. They need to rely on stealth to be able to sneak up on their prey. Owls also have what are called zygodactyl toes. So two toes in front and two toes in back, same as parrots and roadrunners. But owls can also do something really neat. They can move this outer toe to then have three in front and one in back. And that helps them to be able to manipulate their prey and to be able to sit and grip on a perch. But if you guys want any more information about our ambassadors, please check out our website, www.naturededucators.org. Thank you.